a swing state, you know, now the Democratic Party in Florida is a hollow shell. It's like a dead carcass on the side of the road. I mean, we have beat the left in the state of Florida. Mm. Wow. A dead carcass on the side of the road. Well, yeah. that carcass sort of sprung up and uh, yeah. ate the uh, tractor trailer that was driving by last it night, did. devoured it, it in one did. gulf, and then maybe just went that back to the side of the road again as a fair warning to cocky Republicans that actually when Democrats try to win elections, unlike what they did in Florida in 2020, they win elections. Yeah, that was um, six-week ban Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declaring the state's Democratic Party How's that going to work for you in the I-4 corridor? Month. Meatball uh, on. Uh, <laughs> the governor's epitaph may have been a little premature because last night Florida Democrats scored their biggest election victory in years in Jacksonville. Democrat Donna Deegan shocked the state with an upset win in her bid to become the first female mayor of Florida's most populous city. Deegan beat her GOP opponent 52 to 48 percent in the race to replace the state's current Republican mayor, who is term limited. And the new mayor-elect of Jacksonville, Donna Deegan, joins us now. First of all, congratulations. It must feel good this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it feels very good. Very grateful. So uh, I want to know what you think, uh, what you think it was that gave you the edge in this election. Well, I, I'm a fifth generation Jacksonville native. Uh, I was an evening news anchor here for 25 years. And then after I was diagnosed with breast cancer three times, I started a foundation for underserved women with breast cancer, which has a race that brings in people from all over the country to our city every year. And so people know me. We've lived a shared life uh, in Jacksonville. So I felt that um, a year and a half ago when we started out on our grassroots campaign of knocking on as many doors as we could, having as many town hall meetings, talking to as many people eyeball to eyeball, I felt like we had the relationships to be able to bring this in, and I'm just grateful that, that Jacksonville agreed. Uh, Marilyn wow. Deegan, uh, it's, you know, it's uh, uh, up to us to sit around here and talk about national politics and how this impacts that. And impa I know that's no concern of yours. You're concerned about the issues that impact your neighbors, that impact people in the community. I'm wondering, uh, Jacksonville, are, are you facing a lot of the same headwinds that, that other cities are facing regarding uh, quality of life issues, concerns about crime, concerns about homelessness, concerns about quality of life. Absolutely. I mean, everybody wants a good quality of life. And, and what we've seen here uh, over the decades is we've seen a city that is on a river, on an ocean, with a couple of interstates running through, and yet we seem to continually get passed by cities like Tampa and Charlotte uh, and Greenville. And, and, and the question keeps coming back as to why. And I think, you know, if you look at crime in our area, we have a, a murder rate that is four times per capita uh, that of, of New York City. We have crumbling infrastructure. We have neighborhoods that have been left out for decades. And, uh, and, and the message we brought to the streets was we want to bring the people into city government. We've had a city government here that has, has been lacking in a lot of transparency and, frankly, in bringing people in. And so uh, we felt that if we could bring those messages that I want to deal with, basically, um, fixing those things that are broken and bringing people in. Uh, I think people really heard that message and resonated with it. And we, we the wonderful thing about this campaign was that um, we won uh, voters from all across the political spectrum. And that was very, very important to me because um, I just think the divisiveness has gotten so incredibly bad that if we don't start to try to bring people together, um, and in Jacksonville, we've had a great tradition of that. Um, I, I, was, I was very concerned about where it was going. And obviously around the country, that's a concern. But here, especially is my heart, and I wanted people in Jacksonville to come together, and I think we will. Mayor-elect, good morning. You've led me perfectly to my question. I was, I was listening to your comments last night and, and reading more about your campaign. I kept seeing the word unity, unity, unity. And that, that is, in this time of division in our politics, politics, you talked about, well, of course I'm going to work with Republicans. Of course everybody's welcome here. Even last night you said, sure, Governor DeSantis uh, backed my opponent, but of course I'm going to work with him. He's the governor of our state. How important do you think that message was in your win, first of all, but also going forward, saying, I'm not here to demonize the other side. We've got to get some stuff done. 
Well, I think it's incredibly important, and, and, and what's more, it's the truth. It's how I feel in my heart. Um, as, as a person who was a journalist my whole life, I always brought everybody's voice into the room. As a nonprofit leader, cancer is not a red or blue issue. And so mm -hmm. my message always from the very beginning was um, we need to have a city that works for all of us and where all of us have a voice. And so that, that doesn't mean that you just make it us versus them. And as grateful as I am to have, uh, have the Democrats have a seat at the table, this really was about bringing people together. And so I, I, I do believe that's the way forward, and I think people are used to that for me. I think uh, people across the political spectrum saw me as an honest broker because I've been here my whole life. My family's been here for generations, and we know each other. And so they know where my heart is. They know where my values are. And my values at the end of the day are Jacksonville values. I just want our city to be successful and bring everybody in. All right, Jacksonville mayor-elect Donna really Deegan, thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Greatly appreciate you being here. And thank uh, you good so luck. Much.